Okay, have an ICOM. I see R7100. And the batteries that hold up the memory are gone. So, got on the forum, find out there's two batteries in it. And uh, you can go ahead and change them and not worry about destroying any pro programming in the radio. So, I'm going to take out the screws here. There's eight holding the lid on. Phillips or Star. Okay, I can remove the lid. Just put it there. I'm taking the the whole top off, so just pry on that and you can pull that apart. Move that out of the way. Next you need to take out the two screws here that are in the metal plate. Looks like this one's been done before. Of course, that's going to be stripped. Let me get my bigger one and be right back. Okay, so I got my bigger star here. Pull that out. It's uh, number two, I think. I don't know, it's worn off. Next will be the two here. On the back. Solder this back on. This radio can be dropped or something by the looks of it. That's probably why I have a shitty receive with this one. You can see how that connector's bent, maybe. Well, that shouldn't up too well in there, but anyways, it's bent and it needs to be re soldered onto that board there because it's totally loose off of that. So that'll be my next job. Oh, I got this one. Pull this off here. Okay, watch your wires here, shouldn't be too bad, that just pulls back slightly and then you can flip it up and just be careful you don't let it fall too far off and pull out your wires. Here's the two batteries, dollar store, three batteries for a dollar. Cheap. Chinese batteries, but probably last long enough. So, I'm just get a little screwdriver. I have to lift this up so the battery slides out, and I'm just going to push on the back of the cell so it comes out of there. So, positive side up, push the next one in, make sure that's back down, same, Pull that out. Let the battery slide out, there we go.
And here we go. That's that. Make sure you bring that forward enough you can slide that over the the jacks that stick out here. And let your wires don't get pinched. Don't forget to put your jumper back in. Now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Of course, you're going to put the screws back in. And next I'm going to fix this jack, so I'm not going to show you guys doing that. Let's see if I get this on video, I can actually see. It's hard to see with the camera. There we go. But you can see maybe into there. your two shields on either side and the center and you can see that one's broken off the uh, the pads are on that board so I'm just gonna heat up my iron and reflow the solder on that and then put the cover back on and that should be it <laughs> 